Good evening. The Indian markets ended marginally lower with the key stock indices receding in late afternoon trade on news of powerful earthquake off the Indonesian coast. The opening was negative for the Indian markets due to weak global queues. The main indices remained in the negative zone before climbing into the positive terrain in mid-afternoon. However, the indices witnessed fresh telling after a major quake struck Indonesia's Ace province, causing several nations in the region to issue tsunami warnings. The U.S. Geological Survey put the intensity of the ACE earthquake at 8.7 as against the initial estimate of 8.9. The BSE Sensex was down by 44 points to close at 17,199 and the NSC Nifty was down by 17 points to close at 5,227. The India VIX on the NSC was up by 1.7% to close at 22.29. The BSC Mid-Cap Index fell by 0.6% while the BSC Small Cap Index was down by 0.3%. Out of the 50 stocks in the Sensex, notable losers were Jindal Steel, Bharti Etel, Sterlite Bill, Tata Power, Reliance Industries and TCS. Among the major gainers included Sun Pharma, NTPC, Infosys, SBI, HDFC Bank, HDFC and Hindustan Unilever. Selling pressure was seen in metals, consumer durables, oil and gas and capital goods stocks. Realty, power and auto indices also closed low. Pharma was the top winner today, followed by select buying in banking, IT and FMCG space. Cement stocks fell sharply due to reports that the Competition Commission of India was soon likely to announce a ruling on alleged pricing catalyzation in the sector. A negative ruling was expected to hurt profits and pricing power of the cement manufacturers. The Indian markets witnessed a steep fall in the opening trade as investors continued to shun risky bets on growing concerns about the domestic economic fundamentals and deteriorating external backdrop. Stocks across Europe and US sank on Tuesday after bond yields in Spain and Italy jumped sharply. Global investors have also turned wary of a sharper slowdown in China even as doubts increase on sustainability of the US economy recovery. The undercurrent is nervous before the important events like IIP inflation enforces results and the RBI policy meeting in next four sessions. FI inflows have turned negative this month owing to the uncertainty over the GAR provisions. Thank you. Wish you have a great evening ahead.